Greetings, this is DT with Interactive Homeschooling, and I'm going to try and do a really quick video run through of Homeschool Tracker. Homeschool Tracker is the, the record keeping um, resource or program that we use. Um, I'm going to start over here um, with a new file. So if you were creating, when, when you first load, you're going to have to create a new data by, database and give it a name. So I've done that really quickly. Um, I want to go in and now edit this information. This is the beginning screen where you would have your school name, your address, and the way that you would change that is to go to maintenance and go over here to school info. Here's the inf where you would edit your information for your school, and you could also edit your school days. So if you school Monday through Friday, you can add that. If you school Monday through Thursdays, as we do, you can just you know uncheck the box, okay, and then save that. Once you've done that, you want to add your students. Um, to do so, you would go to students and add, and just add their name, last first name, last name, information. You want to put the information here again because this is going to print your transcript for your child when it, if it's time for college and you're creating their transcripts and portfolios, you'll be able to do that. To do that. Once you've done that, you can save it. Um, you can change the add the grade levels, um, previous schools attended. Let me just add one. Okay, so adding a child. Um, the, another cool thing, if you have multiples like I do, you can set different colors and it helps you to see the children um, on some of the screens where they're showing up together. Um, if you were just looking at all who has the science science assignment due today, if you color code the child, the children, then it'll show up in those patterns. Um, so once you've done that, you can save their info. Um, if you had a child and you wanted to edit um, the schools, if they attended public schools or maybe went to um, we're in and out of homeschool. You can add those there as well by just clicking add. It'll let you put what years they attended the schools. Any activities or achievements, if your child is doing volunteer work, if your child um, earned an award, you can add those here as well by clicking add. If your child took a standardized test, you can add those here as well. It'll give you the name, the date, and the score and information um, for that test. I'm going to run through this really quickly because we'll run out of time. All right, so, so we're done with that. The next thing you can do is to add your terms. Um, term is, you know, how you want to set up your school year. Um, when does your school start? When does it end? So let's just say we started our school year um, in June of last year. So I want to go here and click on the year so we can speed this up to 2014, June, let's say the first, and we want our school year to end 2015, um, June as well, let's say the first, okay. So we're going to make that our active school year. This is the year that we in, we're in right now. Um, you can change this and give it a name instead of default year. And you can just say whatever you want to call it so that you can identify it. So we'll just say year one and make that our current year. Um, after you've done that, you want to add your subjects. So no matter how many children you have, you can add the different subjects. Um, if you whatever type of subject you're adding, you just want to make sure you highlight that particular um, subject matter. So if we were adding a history course, highlight history to add it. If you're adding a math course, like I'm going to do just for an example, make sure you highlight math and then you're going to go to add course. So let's say we're adding a um, algebra one course and you would give it a code. However many credits that it's worth, if it's one credit, half a credit, you would add that there. Decide how you want it to grade. Do you want it to give you a letter grade, a pass-fail grade, or a percentage grade? Um, and don't worry about, you know, if it's a letter or percentage. You can actually have your transcripts and report cards print both of those, so it's okay. Here's where you add your course descriptions, and course descriptions are very important, especially for high schoolers when you're creating your transcripts. Um, and they have information. You'll want to check out some of the books on creating transcripts, and you want to add course descriptions. You would add that here. 
Um, here you can add activities if there was if these are the activities you're going to use for the class you can tell it to add it over I really don't worry about this section here until I get to the actual um, lesson planning over here I have all the different students that you have set up in your homeschool tracker and you can decide which ones would be taking this algebra course so if they're all taking it um, you would make sure they're all highlighted but for the ones that are not taking it you would just remove the checkbox here and then save it and then what you would have done is to create a core a particular course under a subject heading if you have another subject heading that you want to add like maybe it's um, technology or stem or whatever it is you can add that under add a new subject and it'll give you a new um, heading here as well all right going through um, if you want to let's just say adding information for your student if you are a person that prefers agendas um, this will give you a daily agenda where you can add your information for that day um, you can put in the specific times that these things will happen um, underneath that particular tab i'm going to skip assignments for a moment attendance um, if for those who live in states that you have to keep attendance or for those who are like me I just keep attendance just for record keeping sir um, purposes for myself um, you can go in um, and set in days that your child was in class so let's say that you know it's Friday and I forgot to say that my children were you know present all week so I'm going to go ahead and just highlight these dates because my child was here all week um, and I'm going to mark these children present for the day, those days. And what it will do is, I did not do this earlier, but on the setup of the student, it has a section for your child's initials. I always put those in, and what it'll do is on these particular forms, like the attendance, it'll show each child's initials as being marked present. And it'll also show them on some of the forms, so you're going to want to do that. Um, if you're like us, we are block scheduling um, family so what we do in the beginning of the year is to go ahead and pick um, go we do five weeks on and one week off so we would set the dates that we are going to be on break so let's say next week is actually our break week so we'll go in and set that as our break week and it takes takes those dates out of the calendar so when you set your dates up, it's going to tell you that you have, you know, 300 days of school. And once you add all of your break weeks, it's going to subtract those days. So it lets you know clearly exactly how many days you actually are making lesson plans for. Okay. Um, if you take field trips, you can just go over to the field trip button and everything is just to click add. And it will um, ask you to select, you know, which students. So you would tell it you went to the museum. Um, what date you went to the museum if on this field trip there were certain goals that you wanted to meet you would add those there just by clicking that button to set goals um, what subject the museum you went to the science museum um, what course you went for you can add that as well we didn't we're not going to add anything um, and let's see Let's make it history, just so we can choose a history class. All right, so then we'll save here, and then it'll ask us which students went on this field trip, and you can add that there. So it keeps that field trip log for you. Um, any goals, if I had set a goal there, it would have shown up here, or when I create lesson plans. If there's any particular goals, or maybe you're using standards, you can put those here as well. Um, it'll click you can just add them at that time if you are a person who really doesn't care for um, grade books but you want to keep a journal you can do that as well just add your notes for the day and for which child memorization logs um, you can add those there and also reading logs if your child is reading a particular book and you have to turn those in the way we do you can add the book the title of the book and information when they read it and what other whatever information you want there um, really quickly reports if you have a child and you've added um, grades and everything these are the type of reports that you can print and it'll do anything once you've added the information it will 
um, collaborate everything, print out whatever you ask it to. So if you want a transcript, it'll do that. If you want a field trip log, a reading log, attendance log, a copy of your goals, journals, anything, it will print those out for you. Um, once more, someone asked about how to put in a grade. So let me say, okay, so I created some assignments earlier. So I have this particular history test and we put in that it was worth 100 points. So if my child took the test and they got a 95, I'm going to put that the child got a 95 there. And the way that you say that you, you're done is to go over here and say done and I'm done. And once you've done that, it will calculate a grade here for you. If you want to add an assignment, you just click the Add button. It'll pull up a student's name. If that's not the student you want, use the drop-down menus. Pick a course. History. Let's pick math. Algebra 1. It's a quiz. I didn't add any resources, but if there was a textbook that I was using, I can add it here by going to the Add New, type in, go here to add a new resource, and we're using Forrester, and it's a textbook, so I would add text, add the information for the book here, and then save it. So when did you go when you go to create your resource you'll have this book and it'll show up in your reading logs curriculum logs and all of that good stuff. Um, you can add the pages add the points that it's worth so if my child was doing this test worth 50 points I would put that there save it and close it. Once my child um, has taken the test then it'll show up um, and I can go in and add those grades. Um, so I did this really quickly because the program is actually a very large program, but those are basically um, the things that you would utilize. But if you have any questions about it, just send me a message.